Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Since hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place. Now this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8. The Lord sent a word to Jacob. Say, Jacob. And it lighted upon Israel. Say Israel. So, Jacob is a person, but Israel is a nation. That every time God intends to reach Israel, his strategy is to find Jacob and reveal that which he intends to communicate to Israel and even deposit the investment of that grace upon Jacob so every time you see Jacob anointed begin to rejoice because it's only the starting point not the finishing point of that anointing remember Psalm 133 the oil starts from the head of Aaron but it does not remain in the head it flows to everyone aligned and connected how many of you have stood before the shower do you lift your leg to be above the shower your head is the only part that needs to be there and the body is patient and happy in advance why because the water from the head will reach even under your feet once the leg removes itself and detaches itself from that organism you can be sure that you cannot bath is that true but the whole body stands but there has to be only one part of the body directly facing the shower and yet the intention is to bath the whole body as it flows from the head the entire body is rejoicing and everybody waiting for their turn with joy and you will receive so much abundance the water will even be flowing no part of the body can retain the water because of the abundance the head is lavish enough so you don't fight because you see it on the head and the hand is saying I'm the one who put on the shower just be patient from the head it gets down can I tell you that grace God has put upon your man of God that grace God has put upon us by the election of grace the days of superstar Christianity is coming to an end I tell you sincerely as ministers of the gospel we must be responsible enough to understand the purpose of the anointing it's not just for yes thank God for the honor that follows the call but let me tell you more than that there is an assignment that we must not forget the oil on your head will not serve you much until it flows to the body so as we stay in the place of prayer as God continues to invest that grace upon us we run back to the body and say as privileged stewards we have received this and such as we have freely we give so that the body will now be efficient this is one of the things that I've come to do tonight the Bible says in the parable of the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish. The suggestion of the bridegroom is that go to them that sell and buy. Not everyone is in want. There are those that sell. You don't buy it with money. You buy it with honor. You buy it with discernment. You buy it with meekness. You buy it with recognition. But there are them that sell. Believe me. When you are struggling in any area of your life, you don't have to die there. Check the body of Christ with discernment. There are those that sell. There are times that you can go around a city looking for maybe a part of a car or something. They will tell you it's not in Abuja and you will suddenly find one woman as the only supplier. 
and you can meet and say ma can i partner with you and also start supplying sooner or later that part does not become scarce again because from one person he or she was benevolent enough to share their ideas oh i get it directly from dubai i get it directly from uk now you find out that everybody has it now with abundance always comes abuse but it's better to have abundance at least all through in scripture every time you see abundance you also see abuse whether it is solomon whether it is multiplication of five loaves and two fish the side effect of abundance is abuse that's why god trains men thoroughly before he exposes them to abundance are we blessed so he sends a word to jacob and it lights upon israel philippians 1 7 we're wrapping up Philippians 1 7 Apostle Paul was speaking over the church in Philippi and he said even as it is meet for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart in as much as both in my bonds he says and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel he says ye are partakers of my grace you know what it means to be a partaker a partaker is not the original recipient but the partaker benefits as much as the original recipient you see that in the life of abraham and lot god called abraham alone the bible says and lot went with him genesis 12 when we get to genesis 13 everything abraham had lot also had you would not even know who was called and who now tapped but lot made one mistake he detached himself from abraham and plunged into limitation until he found himself in sodom numbers chapter 27 from 18 and 20 numbers 27 we're about to pray numbers 27 and the lord said unto moses please look up it says take thee joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already and lay your hands upon him is that in your bible we're reading to 20 and then it says set him before eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight verse 20 i like this i like this please read with me one to read thou shalt put some of what so honor is transferable it says they will not listen to him take some of your honor and put on him you may have heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another this thing you see right there is a grace if you don't have this grace no matter how sincere you are nobody will listen to you believe me when I tell you that there are many sincere people who cannot command influence over people because that grace for honor is not there Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 and Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as they commanded Moses we're about to pray the next few minutes in this place we're going to allow the Holy Spirit to deposit something tangible upon our spirit just like pastor said it is true that our possibilities are defined by the graces that we carry upon our heads thou anointed my head with oil but it is my cup that runs over he does not anoint the cup you know what is on the cup by what is on your head i mean you know what is on your head by looking at what is on the cup there are many of you here you have prayed you have tarried you're coming to the final moments of your prayer and fasting listen more than the revelations and the intelligence you have received you must receive the engracing to now defend that which you are proposing to the world a witness without evidence will only be a failed one if you want to be a faithful witness then you need that word of witness but then with your evidence standing with you is someone ready to pray please rise up on your feet when it's time to pray i beseech you by the message of god that we pray that we pray with understanding I'd like you to thank the Lord for the word you have heard 
several dimensions of truth communicated by his spirit go ahead and pray let it be from the depth of your heart Lord I understand even clearer that I am a witness there was a man sent from God his name was John the same came for a witness to bear witness to the truth that men through him might believe someone is praying thank you Jesus prayer point number two father all it takes to make me an effective witness may I receive it right now please go ahead and pray all that it takes is it prosperity is it influence is it revelatory grace all that is required for my effective witness to make my contributions as far as kingdom come is concerned I obtain grace someone is praying I obtain grace, I obtain grace. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good because he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him God was with him no man can do these things except God be with him someone pray now I'd like you to pray Holy Spirit reveal your ministry in my life in a greater dimension you are the lord of the harvest you are the spirit of truth reveal your ministry in my life afresh someone is praying I open up my spirit man the impartation and the embracing that will make me relevant in your end time program I obtain grace someone is praying you are a man of God here pray Lord grace for the altar grace for the altar to communicate and dispense the truth of the kingdom with power and grace you are a businessman pray you're into fashion pray you're a media person pray a sport person pray a politician pray please pray please pray Yours is a kingdom, yours is a power, yours is a glory forever. Amen. Yours is a kingdom, yours is a power. Hallelujah. 
before listen please before I pray for you I want you to pray one prayer listen do you know there are many people today who are unable to do much for the kingdom simply because God has vetted them and he has found out that they do not have the staying power to still love him in the midst of plenty they do not have the staying power to still love him in the midst of results they do not have the staying power to love him as he announces them so he will vet them and keep them in a certain position not because he hates them but that is the best position to allow their efficiency versus their love for him you have to pray listen let me tell you the truth many of us want to rise many of us want to command power and influence over nations and territories this morning my dear people um, from Zaria they came to celebrate my birthday and they were going back and they did something as a gift I don't know where they found it photos from when the ministry started you know when I was almost looking like a dead man wearing all kinds of things like two people's materials on myself and they gathered all those things together and put it in an album up until I think few weeks ago I don't know how they did that and as I opened it tears filled my eyes and I could almost with every turn of the page I could remember things God told me in those seasons and those levels can I tell you if God has this son you will disappoint him and you will be a casualty to the body it's not Satan he himself will beg your growth as a sign of his love because your soul is more important to him than your fame your soul is more important to him than your result you are going to pray one prayer Lord grace to stay and remain with you the grace to stay and to remain someone please pray the grace to stay and to remain the grace to stay and to remain someone pray hallelujah let me show you a scripture deuteronomy 32 and verse 12 we're still praying deuteronomy 32 and verse 12 do not forget this scripture one day the lord showed me in the place of prayer i'd like you to please read one to read so the lord alone did lead them and there was no strange god with him it is possible to carry god and something else like rachel did in the bible remember rachel the wife of jacob when it was time for her to go she took some of the gods of her father to go with her there are people who carry god and something else if he must be god all by himself in your life then you must have the unashamedness to destroy every other thing so the lord alone did lead him and there was no strange god with him is someone still ready to pray father i dethrone everything that has taken your place in my life i declare a, a fresh recommittal please pray a fresh recommittal for some of you you have exalted men more than god some of you you have exalted money more than god some of you have exalted preaching more than god you have exalted ministry you have exalted marriage business money you have exalted fame god is calling you to return to the altar please pray if you must see his glory he said sanctify yourselves that was the instruction he gave moses to give them you want to see my shekinah and my glory sanctify yourself Please pray.
it's all about you Jesus you know the song for your glory it's not about me as if you should do things my way you are Lord God and I surrender one more time it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me if you should do things my way, you alone and One more time, from the depth of your heart, it's all about you. son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you I probably did not understand the gravity of that statement that if you will let men see me if you can hide behind the cross and allow not even fame or some of these mundane things that distract people to stop men from seeing me everybody look at this my Bible is not resting on the base what is really carrying my bible is this part is that true however because these rods have donated themselves to hold this as you see this you also see them are you getting what i'm trying to say this is jesus christ lifted up but it is impossible to look at him and not see the one lifting him most people do not allow Jesus to be lifted in their lives because they feel exalting him will so diminish you. John the Baptist did not say that I would diminish or disappear. He says that I will decrease that you might increase. So that when people look at me, their focus will not be on me. Somewhere in their minds they will thank God for me like Galatians 1 24 says and they glorified God in me but more than that they'll see you high and lifted up you are shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love we sing holy 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 We'll see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Now let me pray for you. My first prayer tonight is for those who are directly called into the fivefold ministry listen we need to trust God to eradicate weakness on the pulpit I submit to you there is a lot of powerlessness on the pulpit I'm not talking of Pentecostal jamboree and gibberish authentic spiritual power that sustains the ability to both bless and lift people to the place of destiny you cannot be an effective man of God and lack the requisite level of spiritual power it is impossible so my prayer there are many people here I know and I presume that have been called into the ministry God has called you men and women alike missionaries pastors 
prophets and yet that increasing Luke 1 I believe and verse 45 I hope I'm right on that he said how shall these things be seen that I know not a man and then he says the power of the highest shall overshadow you how shall I suddenly step into an effective ministry the power of the highest how shall I now begin to teach with power and fire the power of the highest will overshadow you do not downplay the ministry of power especially in this end time can I pray for you you are in ministry I like you to pray and say Lord empower me in a very supernatural way empower me in a very supernatural way empower me hallelujah I'm going to pray for people this please tap this gentleman for me come I want to pray for you the Lord has heard your cry and I want you to believe that what God will do in your life don't belittle yourself I am telling you this God has a mighty plan for you and his hand is strong upon your life even in this season can I pray for you father I lay my hands upon your dear son in the name of Jesus empower him afresh let a strong I'm stretching my hands on this person and I'm seeing is somebody else in the congregation the power of God is coming on please bring them out this is what I'm seeing I'm laying my hands on him Yet I'm seeing light touching somebody within the congregation. I'll begin to pray about that one person within the congregation. And listen, it's a call of God. You have been seeing this in your dreams. You've not really started, I wouldn't say you've started ministry fully. But that hand and that call is upon you. Please, as the anointing of the Spirit comes upon that man, I want to have him outside. I want to pray for him. But for this gentleman, in the name of Jesus, I declare, let it be a new season for you right now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will experience the grace of God in supernatural dimensions. Now, I want to pray. Please help them, Jesus. Whether you are an usher or not, please do well. Just help them so they don't injure themselves. Just bring them out slowly. I want to activate the prophetic. I truly believe in the ministry of the prophetic. It's one of the most corrupted ministries of the fivefold, unfortunately. But it does not mean that simply because the prophetic has been corrupted it should be thrown away men and women together there are many of you that grace has been crying in your spirit ah this grace is coming on people now father i release that grace right now i find the ambers of the prophetic men and women all those who must step into that ministry receive that grace now help them please receive that grace now take that grace please bring them out i release you upon you let that anointing and that mantle accurate prophetic void of divination void of manipulation in the name of jesus christ not tampered by flesh one of you in this choir, one of the ladies here, I'm seeing the power of God coming on you. Help her, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring them. In the name of Jesus. Accurate prophetic. Void of manipulation. God is raising mighty people with that grace. Even in this church. there is a gentleman who will start running now please hold him and bring him out the power of god is coming upon him this is this is a ministerial anointing is helping please a strong ministerial anointing there are kings there are kingdoms Oh, 
showing me a mantle for restoration i'm seeing the number seven there are some of you who have lost things and you are asking will it ever return back right now the anointing is coming on you some of you are already in front here father i don't know where they are manish kadi kabarata ziata elebreke help them please my god let there be a restoration let there be a restoration of virtues restoration of dimensions you want touch you want touch in the spirit restoration of resources like the hair of samson some of you it is growing back again the eyes that see the ears that hear mighty things that were once done through your life in the name of jesus supernatural restoration i release upon you i release upon your family actually a grace for wealth that beyond productivity and value beyond the ability to exchange value for a reward there is a real grace for wealth I'm about to pray for you because someone in this place this is why you came for this meeting and this thing must come look some of you have come from backgrounds and families where at the normal sequence if you are to follow the normal sequence of growth financially you may spend your lifetime and never be empowered however there is an advantage we have in this kingdom i want to pray please receive some of you have been called to be financial apostles some of you have been called to carry to to bear the ark lord i don't know where they are but in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, those who will go up the mountain at the count of three, may this man to fall on you. Some of you are pastors. Some of you are career people. Lord, the grace that will command territories to yield their increase. Receive it right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace, that anointing. Sir, that grace is coming on your wife. I'm seeing that grace come on her. Lord, I don't know what you are doing, but do it, oh God. Let, let that supernatural mantle for finances, supernatural grace for wealth, in the name of Jesus. Help this woman. I'm seeing oil, this woman wearing yellow. That oil is resting upon her. Receive that grace right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I want you to believe this because you will be surprised to see what God begins to do in your life. Who is Kemi? Is there someone with the name Kemi? Is it Kemi or so? I'm hearing a name. K 
Kemi. Is there someone with that name? Just find somewhere to stand. I want to pray and speak over your life. What do you do, madam? Huh? I want to pray for you. Look at me, ma. Please stand up. Remember not the former things, not consider the things of old. Hear what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. 2020 was not a good year for you. It was a year that you did not see the best. But God is saying, I am restoring you. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus. Let that grace come upon you. That makes for supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus. You are also Kemi. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Madam, look at me. Are you married? Father, in the name of Jesus, every pattern, negative pattern connected to your family, in the name of Jesus, I come against it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone on this row. The power of God is coming upon you. You are a lady. I just saw this right now. Please, I'd like you to bring the person for me. No. In the name of Jesus. If, she's, if she can't come, don't worry. Just leave her there. I will speak over her life. I decree and declare. Ah, there are many of you this month of July coming. I'm seeing an anointing on that month. And I'm not, I'm not speaking lightly. The month of July. This woman standing near you holding both of her hands. I'm seeing oil coming on her head. That's right. The woman wearing blue. In the name of Jesus. She's one of these people that the month of July will speak greatly for. I declare by the anointing of the Spirit. Let that grace rest upon you. I command July to open for you. In the name of Jesus. I command July to open for you. I command July to open for you. Now hear me. Everywhere you are standing in one minute, I'd like you to begin to mention everything that must leave your life now. The Egyptian that you have seen. I'm releasing my faith with your prophet. Please begin to pray right where you are. I'd like you to declare, I'm releasing my faith with you. That in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. These Egyptians that you see today, that you will see them no more forever Lord as you have done it for your servant my prophet you will do it for me hallelujah praise the Lord now I just sense in my heart I, I don't know if I should do this but as I, as I raise that prayer request I just had the cry of a baby I just help them please I just had the cry of a baby this is what and the Lord is telling me that this is a miracle that he's releasing for certain people Lord I don't know where they are but in the name of Jesus there will be sounds of rejoicing in this church believe me when i tell you there will be sounds of rejoicing in the name of jesus as i hear in my spirit so i declare let it be so and let it be established let it be so and let it be established let it be so and let it be established let it be so and let it be established let it be so and let it be established in the name of jesus christ please hear me anyone holding what belongs to you and has not released it by the power of the prophetic in luke chapter 18 the woman came to the judge who did not fear god nor regard man and say avenge me my adversary and the bible says for a while he will not attend to her but for her importunity her continuous coming you have prayed in the name of jesus i agree with you between now and the next 30 days by the power of the prophetic it must get into your hand it must get into your hand in the name of Jesus Christ and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death I need to rebuke that spirit that creeps around families and destinies and just destroys people sometimes at their prime 
father if there is any family here where the spirit of death is roaming around intending to lay hold on anyone by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus may death pass over you it shall not come near your dwelling the mark of the blood is upon you in the name of jesus hear me please be sensitive to these prophetic words as i'm declaring them some of you have been in this city for many years yet the gates have not opened for you the truth is almost nothing is working you are in this city people will come and receive whether jobs open doors and it looks like nothing is happening the lord put this in the heart of your man of god and i've come to join faith with him let's speak to these gates every gate can open it depends on who is speaking in the name of jesus i decree and declare as touching the one who sent us lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye ancient doors i decree and declare the two lift gates of this city i declare that you part heater and teeter in the name of jesus christ be open for a triumphant entry in the name of jesus christ just because you are in a city does not mean the city is open for you no he said blessed is he that comes in the name of the lord hallelujah praise the name of the lord i've prayed concerning wealth but let me pray over favor please receive this one the proof of favor is not money no the proof of favor is when god gives you the hearts of men even the hearts of kings father in the name of jesus you are able to help and bring favor upon men i declare by the mercies of god the one who helps men beginning from today all who are connected to this vision help her please and those who in the name of jesus christ are here who came for this prayer cruise and those who are connecting by way of internet in the name of jesus the son of the living god receive that grace for favor now i declare that systems and structures shift for your sake receive that grace for favor it will speak in your finances it will speak in your family in the name of jesus christ now hear me we're getting to a most important part of this prayer we're wrapping up how many of you believe in this vision how many of you believe in this ministry how many of you know that god is able to stretch and enlarge the tent of this ministry we are going to pray the last time I came, God opened my eyes and I did bring a prophetic word that God is expanding and enlarging this ministry and that God was going to give his servant and the wife visibility even within this land like never before. I have not come with a different prophetic word. It is still the same thing I have come with. We are going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. God has placed an anointing upon this man. God has placed a grace upon this man and there is a major role I am telling you that the man of God has to play in this city as touching the move of God and what God is doing it's not because I'm standing on this platform I am telling you the truth by the message of God now in the next two to three minutes you are going to pray for this ministry from the depth of your heart the depth of your spirit Lord higher grounds Lord higher grounds Lord higher grounds enlarge the place of the twi of, of your dwelling spare not to the left and to the right are you praying the members of this church pray pray for your vision it is not your pastor's vision it is your vision too
for your man of God. Lord, strengthen him and his dear wife. Strengthen the family. Multiply the investment of your grace upon their lives. Are you praying? Pray for the pastors that stand and support him. Lord, raise faithful men. Raise mighty men and women. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Strengthen him. When he calls, answer him. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Now hear me. I'm the one asking you to do this and I've not spoken with him. After this prayer, let me, let me give you a very powerful secret. Listen. Don't end this prayer and fasting period without hearing from God to find a strategic prophetic seed and so I'm not going to tell you what it doesn't have to be today but I'm teaching you a powerful secret when Peter the angel came to Cornelius speaking about Peter the encounter that will lead to the salvation of the Gentiles he says your prayer and your giving two things brought that intervention now when it has to do with seed sowing and sacrifices unfortunately I know that people have manipulated they have made merchandise of the gospel taking advantage of people and some of you here probably maybe across your various spiritual concerns may have been victims of men of God and prophets and apostles but don't think just because people have made merchandise of this that does not mean this is a powerful principle I would be wicked and be lying to you if I drop this mic and do not teach you this truth I know that your man of God has taught you are we together you do not end a strategic program like this without prophetically connecting with your seed Psalm 50 verse 5 gather my saints unto me they who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice and that includes those who are following online probably there are people who are following and want to connect you should find a way of reaching the ministry if there's a way they can put the authorized account number i don't know how it happens here but you know in you know back home our ministry anytime you make announcement like this scammers also here and up they go trying to manipulate people innocently and so on and so forth praise the name of the lord but let me challenge everyone here complete your fast not just with prayer but with a sacrifice is different from a seed it's easy to give ishmael but if it is isaac you have to give with grace hallelujah i can tell you strategic periods in my life as a man of god defining moments where certain realms came to a permanent close at the instance of a seed with understanding if you do it as a mere donation or do it as a name you are only wasting your time you will recycle pain but with understanding even the father wanting the harvest of us gave a sacrifice Jesus was more than a seed he was a sacrifice he was his only begotten son now he has many sons that have been called into glory and the thing about a seed is that the technology is that you reap what you sow but believe me you do not have to reap it in the form you sowed it meaning you can sow money and reap favor you can sow money and reap speed because God connected another spiritual technology to sowing and reaping that God is able to give your seed another body so you can sow pain and not reap more pain at the point of resurrection God will change the body for pain to be joy so you can now sing he has turned my morning into dancing that he has turned even my sorrow into joy are we together one of the ways you end negative seasons in your life is to sow them as seeds because the old heaven and the old earth can pass away with everything in it so when you are tired of a season you can wrap that season in a seed and sow it that's why it is dangerous to steal money in church because you don't know whose season is coming to an end and you don't allow that season to die you pick it up like Gehazi together with the destruction that came with that season 
Hallelujah. Every time you see money in church, it's more than naira and kobo and dollars and pounds. Those monies are trays carrying the pain of people, carrying yokes, carrying curses, carrying negative things that people are overturning through the mystery of death and resurrection. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me pray over your life in closing. Thank you. This is already past four. Father, I thank you for the honor and the privilege to have been able to share with your people, challenging them on your end time agenda. Thank you for the months and the months that have been invested in prayer. Thank you for all you have blessed and lifted. Thank you in the name of Jesus for your choice servant and his dear wife and all the pastors that stand to lift up the hands of the man of God. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood, be blessed in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that everything that once was once a thing of shame and reproach, let it be rolled away from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, and every grave clothes that is on you like Lazarus, I decree and declare prophetically, I remove those grave clothes from you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, everything at work in your life that is inconsistent with the speakings of the word, I decree and declare, let it be cancelled right now. You will see the hand of God in your life. You will see the goodness of God in your life, spiritually, financially, in your home, your place of work, in the name of Jesus. And as for this ministry, you will only keep going from glory to glory, from grace to grace, from power to power. And I pray for everyone who attended this meeting today, you will be at the epicenter of God's program. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Now please listen, the Lord is putting it in my heart. Just two things to do, to make an altar call and then to just speak over people who may be trusting God for healing. I'll just do both in about a minute or two. Please spare me that time. If you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. I need Jesus. I need to rededicate my life or you are making a first decision. I know you have been standing. Please just endure for this one more minute and we're done. I believe with all my heart there are people here who are saying, Apostle, please give me an opportunity, whether online or here. And others are saying, I love Jesus, but I want to use this moment to rededicate my life. If you are here, even if it is only one person, the Lord has put it in my heart, let me give you an opportunity to come. Please, I'd like you to leave your seat and come and stand here if there is any such person. Don't sit back, don't be ashamed, and don't wait for someone to be the first to come. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I truly want to make my ways right. Is there someone like that? Please, gallantly, I want you to walk and come here very quickly. Very quickly. God bless you if there is such person. Please come and stand here very quickly. I truly believe that there has to be at least one person. And if you are that one person, please come and stand. Don't be ashamed and don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Come to Jesus. Now, while that is happening, God bless you. Let them come and stand here. God bless you as you come. Those who are trusting God for a healing miracle, I'd like you to please lay your hand uh, on that part. And if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please do just lay your hand on your chest. Those who are coming for the altar call, please do come quickly. I want to pray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for making this decision. Those who are making this decision online, Jesus is right where you are. And as I lead them to pray, please pray same. And the Lord himself is nigh on to all that call upon him. May I request, gentlemen, that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender high to the heavens and say after me convincingly so. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i believe in jesus as my savior and as my lord and as my king i receive eternal life into my spirit the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i walk in the newness of life 
in Jesus name I pray thank you Heavenly Father for these precious ones you have brought them to yourself keep them even by your spirit they go from strength to strength because they appear in Zion in Jesus name I pray amen and amen may I please request that you follow the gentleman waving his hands God bless you they'll have a word with you and then he will be back so let's do this quickly in the name of Jesus anyone here trusting God for healing You've heard a terminal illness, whether you or anyone connected to you. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. May the healing power, the life of Jesus rest upon you. And may the spirit of grace quicken you. In the name of Jesus, let vitality and health surge through your body. I declare be healed right now. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much, sir. The Lord honor you and thank you for this opportunity the lord bless you all in jesus name i pray dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye